this video is uh, main engine decap video part 5 in this video we will uh, show how to change piston rings for the piston which is already ready to take the piston rings so things to remember is you have to use the proper piston rings and uh, this is the ring which we are going to fit so what is the main thing that you need to see when you are fitting the ring is you have to check the top mark the top mark should always be in the top side this is the piston which is already ready to use as i said earlier so stuffing box is already boxed up and it is in place in my next video i will show you how to overhaul a stuffing box so now before installing the piston ring in place you have to lubricate uh, the piston ring groove area and ensure the grooves are uh, fully cleaned means uh, no carbon deposit should be there and i will uh, post a separate video for how to do the preparation for uh, cleaning the piston so this is how you have to apply lubrication for the piston ring grooves before installing the piston rings so you can see the grooves are completely clean no impurities like no carbon deposits are there it is crystal clean this is the cleaning piston cleaning ring which is already cleaned and kept ready for installation you can see here this is called piston cleaning ring which you call it as flame ring and generators so next thing is uh, we will we have to use uh, proper tool for installing the ring this is the ring expander and this is the tool and they got two clutch so piston rings should go inside the groove of the tool the piston rings should be catchy like how it is been catched on the other side of the tool once one side is catched the other side groove you have to hold it then you can start expanding the tool once you start expanding the tool will come closer to the piston ring and it will get a grip like the piston ring will go inside the groove of the tool so idea is your piston ring should be inside the groove of the ring expander tool so that uh, the elongation will be uniform so now i am uh, using the wrench instead of using spanner try to use wrench it will make your job so easier because using a spanner will take very long time you can see now the rings had entered into the groove of the tool so this is what i was telling about it has to be within the groove so that it take proper proper and uniform elongation you can see both the grooves or inside the piston ring so now so this is how you have to fit the tool with the ring and always use uh, ratchet ratchet i think it is uh, eight or nine number ratchet depends on the size of engine your ratchet will differs so sometimes you may face, uh, feel uh, trouble in uh, fitting the piston ring but uh, just uh, little patience hold the other side of the tool properly so that you can fit it properly so now the tool is in place properly and uh, before fitting the piston ring all we need is we need two person because the piston ring is heavy and it is very big so you place it on top of the piston land and you can do the expansion from that so that you know how much we have to expand as a law you have to complete the thread so that uh, it will be easy for you complete the thread in the means fully open the ring expander that is the idea you have to open the 
ring expander completely so that without any trouble you can fit the piston ring no need of pushing all nothing can be done it will go very easily that is what i am doing i am opening the piston ring expander fully there is some thread uh, is left just open those thread also so now when you open it completely then you will find more easier to fit the piston ring in groove properly so now i think uh, we can fit it yes you can see it is easily passing through the other grooves this is the first ring from the bottom so once the ring is in place hold the ring inside the groove and you can unscrew the expander that means your expander will slowly get released and the spring and the piston ring will get seated in the groove so this is how you have to fit the ring inside the piston ring groove and whenever you are uh, fitting means uh, uh, unscrewing the tool ensure the other side of the ring is inside the groove sometimes what happens if you are not uh, vigilant enough the ring will be outside the groove then again you have to do the job second time so once it is in place we can remove the tool and just turn the piston ring and see for free movement so this is how we have to fit the piston ring for a piston the same way we have to fit the other three rings also in place so as i said uh, before fitting always uh, give uh, give a coat of lube oil and after fitting the piston ring also give a coat of lube oil so that it will help you while you are fitting means installing the piston rod into cylinder liner it will help to ease up so the other thing what you need to do is you have to remove open the piston uh, cover before installing only do not open the piston ring and keep it uh, two days three days before no don't do that because the uh, piston ring always come with properly packed and sealed sometime there will be a uh, information posted over the uh, piston ring cover like uh, do not open before you use all those things so follow that so that is uh, simply to avoid a uh, piston ring at means exposed to atmosphere it may uh, get some rust or to avoid all those things we uh, we have to follow that so that is a this is what uh, i do means uh, we are fitting the other three rings also the same procedure same way just uh be patience when you are uh, using the when you are fitting the piston ring because sometime if you are uh, going in uh, means uh, hurry hurry you can misplace number 2 ring in number 1 and number 1 ring in number 2 place so don't do that be very uh, patience be very vigilant while uh, fitting the piston ring because uh, it is always uh, suggested to ensure one time or two time that you are fitting the correct ring in correct position that is the main thing that you need to keep it in mind so third ring is also fitted I mean from bottom it's a third ring and uh, three rings are already done this is the final ring that is the cpr ring it is little bit different and again i'm uh, check the top marking all those thing everything uh, once that is done fit the top four and before uh, installing in place we can uh, position the piston ring like in angle we can do that so i believe this video must have given you some information about uh, how to install piston rings in place with the piston which is ready to install so if you have any doubt please put in a comment box definitely i will reply you and uh, keep sharing our channel thanks for a good support keep supporting thank you all